Welcome to part two of the Battle of Magnesia, and I'm playing the Seleucid side. And so far I've been able to stabilize the situation, but as I said earlier, this is a very strong Roman army, and they have yet to get going. I am using my cataphracts very effectively on my right, as well as my missile units. My center is holding, even though the flexible Romans have broken through on this end and have routed one of my phalanxes. So unfortunately, this one is probably gonna route too, but I have to form square. I can't see any other thing. Unfortunately, I'm going to get attacked probably by both ends, and next opportunity I have, I'm going to turn that elephant around. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to bring my cavalry over here on this end, and try to help out over here. This cavalry is routed, so I want to get him out of the way. And I'm continually firing missiles. Let's see, the odds are 2692. Okay, we got a break here. Now I can continue. Just nailing these units and trying to cause some breakage. Oh, we got another break. That's good. Problem with this triari. I'm gonna try to hit this triari. Okay, disrupted. Very good. It's gonna be less impact if he charges the flank. Let's see what we can do with this here. Okay, my light units are doing very well over here. If I can damage this unit a little more. It's better than nothing. At least I have a rear charge on this Triari next turn. As far as this goes. I think I'm going to charge in here 61%. Hit as many units. I do have a rear charge here next turn. Ten percent, sixteen percent odds are very bad here, unfortunately. I'm gonna move him out of the way so he can threaten this unit here, but also be out of the way. I don't think this uh, charge here is gonna affect much. doing damage that's good good disrupted okay we can at least straighten up in case if 
fragmented. Disrupted. We're doing pretty well here. Now the only problem is... Rally! <laughs> The AI will have a tendency to cause a lot of rally, a lot of rallying to go on. Okay, Antioch. Okay, this is a uh, chasing. Okay, I already used these guys. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna gang up on this unit here. I'm gonna move over here. have a shot over here. This is very critical. We're just completely annihilating the enemy. Fragmented, it can cause some major problems here. But okay, what am I to do? Okay, I can turn around and fire. This isn't bad. This is not bad. Got the cataphract over here. This guy is ready to collapse. I think I'm getting some quality shots here. These cataphracts, you know, they can fight and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the legions. This one's ready to collapse. I don't know what else I can do here. He's got a choice, either hit him on a flank or hit this one on a flank. But then I can hit him from behind also, so... And then I can use my units to go after the Triari. I think it's going all right here, except this this pike phalanx may collapse. You know, gets attacked both ways with a square. And, of course, these Galatians are not reliable. They can collapse at any time. So I'm going to have to bring my cavalry over here to assist. I think these guys did very well. I need to turn this guy around. This is kind of even here. To kind of keep this Triari occupied, or else the Triari is going to attack my cavalry. So I do have a shot here on the rear. So, let's see, anything can happen. This is full of surprises, so.
I don't know why this skirmish game has kind of turned laggy since this last update. But they used to just... I, mean, I got us. I got... Oh no, Antioch is disrupted. Unless it's just a new thing, maybe it's not laggy, maybe it's just supposed to slow it down. I said the Romans are not gonna give up. They's a tough they're gonna attack and they're not gonna they're not just gonna lay down. They're going to put their units to use as best as possible, and... Of course, you have to. And that's the problem here. We got a rally, that's good. Okay, let's see what we have here. Lucio Cornelio Scipio, flank charge, let's do it. He's fragmented. This is serious over here. Oh good, I'm at least... <laughs> I'm at least advancing really far. Good. And now... Chase that one off the map. Let's bring this one back down here. That'll be nice to break them. That would be so nice.
hit this guy. Keep on hitting this Roman. Fragmented. And the thing is, this Roman here will collapse next turn. This is even. Fortunately, I don't know why my Antioch hit him. Oh, this impact didn't do anything. These two are ready to break. Fortunately, I don't know. This is a tough one. If I can charge in here and break him, no, I'm going to have to turn around. The elephant's going to have to charge. This is a problem. They're not doing anything. I'm going to try to hit this guy on the flank, but what do I do here? Amazing how you know they just do so well the whole farm. Just trying to gang up on one guy. He is fragmented. Get the Roman from behind. Let's keep on looking over here. Say we're going to try to break as many units as possible. There's a possible two breaks here, but I am not thrilled about this here. Yeah, I didn't want anybody. Ah, I'm now my general here. This is this is really bad. Darn, I had to do that. I think I'm finished for this turn. <laughs> I hope I don't get any. Ah. Uh. 
See, the problem is now that when I'm ahead, uh, the computer AI is going to give itself great die rolls and just break me. I guarantee that. I'm just going to start breaking like crazy. Oh, good. be great if I could just win this real quickly not have to go to 60% as I figured I would have to in this type of game dispersed I want to engage with that elephant Oh, they're getting really good die rolls now at this part. <laughs> oh, I rallied. Good. See, now... You gotta be kidding me. This guy wasn't even close to breaking. Yeah, of course. Oh my god! Yeah, this is ridiculous. Oh, I did rally, good. I'm at 37% and... I just had two core phalanxes just route. Okay, what to do here? Try to get it over 40%. Oh. I mean, amazing. This this unit just routed with one simple shot. Let's bring him back. Oh, this one's chasing. That was a break here. Okay, we got another break. We're already at 40, but I mean, can we get another? So is there something that can break here? Now. 
this elephant's chasing. This elephant has to get in the thick of it. Yeah, it has to. Oh, the leader got... this guy. Disrupt. At least we're coming down. Uh, this could result in another flank attack. Uh. what I wanted to do. I'll try to get as many hits as possible. This one's chasing. Turn this one around. I think I've done best what best as I can here. Damn it. No help. one on the flank. I'm 
sometimes you got to look at something and realize you can release a charging unit as I did here so now I just made something cavalry here it's going to be able to charge in here next turn Antioch kind of even but he's losing I will be able to threaten a little bit here let's see this guy if I can knock this guy Gnaeus Demetrius out next turn as long as they don't mass rally This is, this is still tricky. I mean, <laughs> it broke a couple of my Phalang units. But. If he can rally and charge in here. But uh, my Cataphracts have done really well. I can't complain. this one up here. I cannot complain with the performance of my cavalry. Okay, let's see. I'm expecting very bad dire walls since, since I'm so far ahead ready, almost winning. And a lot of rallying. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I knew that. Always when it's critical, like on the verge of winning, uh, the enemy AI's units just rally is perfect. And my units break, sure. No problem. I'm surprised that cavalry up at the top here hadn't rallied. may be able to pick on that cavalry and just pop them like crazy. Pelt them. Oh! Really? Still close and brutal. Hit him right there. Holds firm. Got a break. Good, we got him occupied. And of course, no good, disrupted. Bad die roll, 
figured that would happen. Operations. I do have a flank attack over here. Let's see, what do you got? Brakes. <laughs> but I'm off the board too! That didn't work. That didn't work too well. Okay. We're almost there. If we can just... This is unfortunate. Okay, we fragmented that one. This guy. Got local superiority right over there. It may get disrupted. No, I, I do. I do have an attack. My elefante. He's ready to hit the flank here. to hit from behind. Get as many shots as we can. horse can. We we'll start charging from behind. It's nice to have harassing units. This is probably going to break, but... Oh, this is so close. Okay.
figured he'd break. Now everything's just gonna break, you watch. Typical AI cheating. unit's going to break here in the center. Guaranteed. Don't disrupt my elephant. Leave it alone. I know this is going to break. Instant break. Yeah, of course. Oh, look at this BS here. Yeah, right. Just perfect. Just absolutely perfect at the critical time. Doing so well and then all of a sudden they get all the best, most optimal die rolls possible. Great. this guy. Hold firm, of course. Anything else? all holding firm. Okay. Start chopping this guy up. Oh, now my odds are going down. this guy 60 percent i guess we're going to 60 this is not going to let me win that easily start picking this guy up
we got the cavalry. At least we got them preoccupied. This one out of the way. Now we can bring this cavalry back in. Nice to be a nuisance here. Flank attack to Triari. here and <laughs> let's see how this goes it's gonna go to 60% I have a feeling Antioch this is just gonna go down to the nitty-gritty I have a feeling this is gonna be tough like uh, this is the Roman army and they were extremely flexible. And like I said, certain situations, they can really do harm to the phalanx, as they've done here. Uh, they're very good at it. That's the problem. I, I don't have extremely well-trained phalangists, the type that Alexander the Great had. I have a unit up here. No, I already returned. So what am I to do? be a good idea. We get to keep them occupied. Like it could go any way. I mean the phalanx against the legionary it's no it's no match. An untrained uh, average or untrained phalanx. Uh, and that's the problem. The Roman units were so flexible. And uh, the devastating they, each legionnaire carried two pila, and they were very well trained in its use. And I mean, they just fired two volleys. And you can just imagine just how brutal that was. I mean, it could completely uh, displace a phalanx and cause it to disrupt real quickly before they even come in with their short swords. Like I said, this is a very tough battle, and it's, gonna be, it's very hard to win. Because you're fighting the Romans, and okay, let's see. I think I've done pretty much everything I can at this point. Let's see. skirmishers. Problem is these two phalanx blocks will be in trouble. My elephant too.
48 percent. Oh wow, excellent. I pulled it off. Let's look at the stats here. All right, I lost. Wow, they lost over 30,000. I lost 9,000. Uh, this was a very tough battle. It could have you know, a lot of things could have happened as the flex of the Roman units are very flexible. Uh, I'm happy with the performance. I mean, wow. This is a, it was a very tough army to beat. But I think I used the strategy, my standard strategy of using the skirmishes mostly on the flanks helps a lot, especially defeating, you know, an army that plays traditionally like the AI does. So I'll probably do, I'll probably demonstrate the Roman side playing it at the governor level just to show. And like I've seen here that uh, I managed to get Seleucid cataphracts way into the rear to chase off some cavalry units and all that. And I can guarantee as the Romans, I'm going to not allow that to happen. You'll see my strategy that way. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.